Let us now proceed and check out how do we implement the concept of overriding in case of Kotlin. So for those who don't know what do we mean by the concept of overriding in case of Kotlin, please don't worry, we will check out in this demo video with the help of example. Now suppose inside open class animal if I write suppose animal eating and now here inside the main method let us do one thing let us remove all these code and let us simply call dog dot eat and now also let us call where cat equal to new cat object and then simply call cat dot eat and now let us run the code and let's see the output so here inside the output console we get animal eating and animal eating both the times now if you notice here i was calling dog.eat and cat.eat now what if if i want to print dog is eating and cat is eating for both dog and cat object respectively so for this what we need to do is we have to apply the concept of method overriding in case of kotlin now there are certain rules that we need to follow in case of kotlin to apply the concept of overriding in case of kotlin so here in case of dog let us override this eat method now overriding means is redefining and modifying this method inside the derived class or the child class so here i will simply use fun eat and then simply define a print statement let's say print line dog is eating now here the compiler is not happy now similar to class each of the method that we define has a public and also final keyword by default attached now this method function eat also has the final keyword here that simply makes it impossible for the child class to override this method here so for that here we need to define the keyword of open now once this method is now open which means now this method can be overridden inside the child class that is inside the doc class again here it shows some error we need to use the override keyword override space function eat so this tells the compiler that we are simply overriding this method from the parent class that is defined here inside the animal class and now same thing applies inside the class cat as well here let us copy this code and paste this here and here i will simply use cat is eating and now let us run the code so here we get dog is eating cat is eating so this is the beauty of using the concept of method overriding in case of kotlin now notice here this eat method is exactly same as this eat method the only difference is that here we are printing animal eating and here we are printing dog is eating like this now suppose i create a animal object let's say where animal and then simply call animal dot eat and now let's see what happens so here we get animal eating in the output so what is happening is that when this statement dog dot eat is executed the compiler gives more priority to this eat method now similarly when we call animal dot eat with the help of this animal object the compiler only looks for the eat method inside the animal class right so here we get animal eating and this animal don't have a super class right so by default this eat method will be called now same thing applies for the cat object as well cat dot eat the compiler simply looks for the eat method first inside the cat class so here we have overridden eat method here cat is eating is now printed in the output console and now suppose if i want to print the animal eating as well as dog is eating when we call this statement dog dot eat so in that case what to do so here let us remove all these lines of code and here what i will do is inside the dog method inside the overridden method i will simply use a super keyword super dot dot eat so when the statement eat method is executed it simply call super dot eat method that simply triggers this method present inside the animal class which is actually the super class right so this animal eating will be printed and after this the control will enter this statement so dog is eating will also be printed in the output console and now 
let us run the code so here we get animal eating and also dog is eating now notice from the main method i am simply calling dog dot eat only once right so when this statement is actually executed it simply triggers this method over here which in turn simply calls the eat method inside the animal class and then after this this method dog is eating is now printed along with the animal eating so i hope the things are now clear now one more concept i want to tell you now suppose this dog simply inherits from the animal class now suppose here if i define comma a interface name such as such as let's say test right suppose this test is actually the interface now what is the interface i will let you know shortly in my upcoming tutorials but as of now suppose i have animal which is a class comma test which is actually the interface so this will simply create a confusion for the compiler if this test message contains the eat method as well like we have eat method inside the animal class in the same way suppose eat method is also present inside the test class so in that case it will simply create a confusion for the compiler so here just to be on the safe side i will simply use super followed by left arrow and then right arrow in between simply give the type as animal class and now let us run the code so in the output again we get animal eating and dog eating right so this was all about the method overriding in case of kotlin now what about the field variables or the properties overriding in case of kotlin can we override this color inside the dog yes we can suppose by default the color of the animal is let's say white and now suppose from the main method if i simply print let's say print line dog dot let's say color and let us remove this statement dog dot eat and now let's see the output so in the output we get white right which is actually the default value provided to the field variable of color inside the animal class now suppose i want to override this color property inside the class dog in the same way we have done with the eat method so for that again we need to declare var space color of the type of string equal to let's give the default value as black right now here it will simply show us the error and here i have to use the keyword of override and now here again it will show some error right now this is simply because like like the class and also the method the var keywords or the variables are also public and final in nature so by default you cannot override this variable inside the dog method till it is final in nature so similar to the animal class and also the function eat we have to make this variable as open and now this variable color can now be overridden can now be overridden inside the dog class like we have done here right now and now if i run the code then this statement will be executed dog dot color so the compiler will give more priority to this color variable present inside its own class definition of dog right so instead of white this time black will be printed so here in the output this time we get black instead of white so always remember in order to inherit some class we need to use the keyword of open in order to override some property and also some method we need to use the keyword of open and if you are overriding something you need to use the keyword of override here and here as well so this was all about the method and properties overriding in case of kotlin it was very simple and clear